Hello champ, let's perform a quick task, shall we? If 3 plus x plus 6 is 14, how do you get x? I'm sure that's simple. You just remove the sum of the known numbers from the total, right? Do you know that is the same way to find the oxidation number of an element in a compound? Oh yes, let's try that out. Find the oxidation number of the manganese atom in KMnO4 and give their UPAC name of the compound. So, solution is, the oxidation number of a neutral compound is zero. So you have KMnO4 equal to zero. Plus one for K, Mn is unknown, plus four into brackets minus two, which is for the oxygen and equal to zero. So you have plus one plus Mn minus eight equals zero. Mn minus seven is equal to zero. Mn is equal to plus seven. So we have Mn equal to plus seven. The oxidation number, which is also state, of manganese in KMnO4 is plus seven. Hence, the IUPAC name of the compound is potassium tetraozomanganate seven. Isn't that cheap? Let's try another one. Find the oxidation number of fluorine in NaClO and give the IUPAC name of the compound. So we have the oxidation number of a neutral compound is zero. We know that. So we have NaClO, equal to zero, and we have plus one from sodium, plus Cl, which is the unknown we are looking for, and then oxygen is minus two, equal to zero. So you have Cl minus two plus one equals zero. Cl minus one equals zero. Cl is equal to plus one. The oxidation number of fluorine in NaClO is plus one. Thus, the IUPAC name of the compound is sodium oxochlorate one. Wow, interesting. Today we have learned that the oxidation number of a neutral compound is zero. To find your known oxidation number of an element in a neutral compound, you just remove the sum of the known numbers from the total, which is zero. This is useful in the IUPAC naming of compounds. I'm sure you enjoyed today's lesson. See you in the next.